All right, guys, he said that for each of the following functions, find the constant c so that f of x is the pdf of a random variable x, find the cdf and find f of x, and then sketch the graph of the pdf and the cdf, and find mu and sigma squared. First, how, how do we find c? We find c for the first part, part a, but A, we find C as, remember this is continuous, so we have to, we are going to do the integral. This is from 0 to 1, so it's 0 to 1. And the function is 4x to the power of C, so 4x to the power of C, dx. Now, if you remember, your, if you remember how to do integral, that would be 4x C plus 1 over c plus 1. Remember, you have to add 1 to the exponent and divide by the, by the exponent. And that will be that um, from 0 to 1. And then you would have 4 over c plus 1. And that would be equal to 1 because the probability of everything is equal to 1. So that would be 4 equals to c plus 1 and c would equal to 3. So now your PDF now, your PDF is 4x and c is 3, so power of 3. That's your PDF. Now to find your CDF, for the CDF now, remember, it's also, it's also, uh, it's also integral from 0 to x. Why to x is because we don't know where x is going to be. It might be equal to 1 or less, so we have to put from 0 to x for the CDF, which is different than the PDF. Uh, PDF, the CDF, okay, 0 to x, I'm going to put 4, and we got the, we had the PDF x cubed, so it's going to be 4t to the power of 3. I'll just change the, the x to t instead, dt. And that would give us t, um, 3 plus 1 is 4, over 4 is 1, so we get t to the power of 4 from 0 to x. And that would be x power of 4. That's your CDF. Okay, let's see how I can do this. Now, how to add, we need to write the CDF. The CDF would be written as, the CDF would be written as, we know that from, if it's if x is less than it would be zero if x is less than zero. It would be x to the power of four if zero less than x less than one. Or less than or equal to x less than one. And it would be one if one is less than or equal to x. I did a video like this, I think. I think I already did a video like this where I showed you how, why it's like that. Please go back to it so you can remember some of these things. Now, how do we find the mu and sigma squared? Now, expected value of a PDF or CDF is x times x squared. Remember, in discrete, in discrete variable, and that will be equal to the summation of x times f of x. But here, because we're doing, we're doing integrals, so it will be the integral from, of x times f of x. So that will be equal to the, the expected value now will be equal to, which is the mean, will be equal to from 0 to 1, 4 x to the power of 4 dx because I just took this one here and I times it by x. So that would be now 4 over 5 
x to the power of 5. And that will go from 0 to 1. And that will be equal to 4 over 5. Okay. Now, the, the variance, which is sigma squared, is I'm going to multiply 4 over I'm going to multiply the PDF again by x squared because you have to find for x squared. So you have to do the integral from 0 to 1 for x power of 5, which is that, times x squared dx. And that would be equal to 4 over 6 x to the power of 6 from 0 to 1. And now we need to go to 4 over 6. And so the variance now, sigma square will be equal to, will be 4 over 6 minus 4 over 5 to the power of 2. Because sigma, sigma which is sigma square which is variance, is the effective value of x squared minus the effective value of x and then quantity squared. And you can find this answer soon. So, now, how do we graph the PDF and the CDF? Let's put up our calculator here. To graph it, we have to go again to F3 and click on number 2. Now, we are going to graph the PDF, and the PDF is this one right here. The PDF is this, this one right here. Up. This is the PDF right here. So that would be 4x to the power of 3. And it's from 0 to 1. So x, comma, 0, comma, 1. And close parenthesis. Now, that is the way we're going to do it. But this is not how we're going to do it now because we need to graph it. So we have to go to click the green button, click F1, and we're going to type we're going to type actually let me just go here four x to the power of three and click OK. And now, let's go and click green button, green button and F3 and graph. Now, it's from 0 to 1, so let's move, let's click on the table, F5. F5, and click on number 7, and then you would get Lower limit is 0, click enter. Upper limit is 1, enter. And this is your, this is now your, uh, your graph. So now I'm going to click on window and to make it better so you can see. So I would put down number 3. And then put that in three and click graph again and click number five, number seven, zero, enter, one, enter. And this is the graph of the PDF now. So this is the graph, this is the graph of the PDF. Now we have to find the graph of the CDF. And the CDF is x to the power of 4. So we will go again here, F1, green button F1. I'm going to erase that and just put x. Oh, clear. x to the power of 4. And then uh, click enter and graph. 
Now we can go in F5, number 7 again, from 0, enter, 1, enter, and that would be your graph now, which is point 2. So, this is how you do the... Uh, I just hear when that happens sometimes. And this is how you would do the 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 graph of the PDF and the CDF uh, of the of of the yeah. This is how you would do it. And wherever it finishes, then it would be a straight line, horizontal line, which is one, because if it's bigger than one, or if one is less than or equal to x then it would be a straight line which is one so that's what it would be and my apologies for the you know breakout probably i'm not sure why that happened but i hope that actually helped you understand so if you understand it that's good and thank you for thank you for watching the video have a good day